From the campus of the University of Alabama, live, local news. From Alabama's home team, this is WVUA News, first at four. Good afternoon, I'm Danny Salter. Thanks for joining us. An incredible story coming out of Cleveland. Three women found alive who had separately been reported missing about 10 years ago. Tori Dunnan is on the scene with the latest. Ricardo DeJesus says he never gave up hope that his sister Gina was alive. It was nine years, nine long years, and I was just happy I was able to sit there and hug her. Amanda Berry, Gina DeJesus, and Michelle Knight all disappeared in separate cases between 2002 and 2004. Their ordeal came to an end Monday after a neighbor heard screams for help. And she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. Police swiftly moved in after a frantic 911 call. I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. Due to Amanda's brave actions, these three women are alive today. The three women were examined at a local hospital and released. Police say they believe the young child Amanda Berry brought with her out of the house is her daughter. Police have arrested the homeowner, 52-year-old Ariel Castro, and his brothers Pedro and O'Neill. Authorities say they never had any indication something suspicious was going on in the house. But one neighbor says she'd noticed a little girl looking out the attic window. Just strange to see a little girl up there and I start questioning people. I says, he's got a daughter. They said, no, he doesn't even have a wife. The FBI is looking into the many unanswered questions as the families begin to heal. DeJesus says he's never going to let his sister out of his sight. Anywhere she goes, I'm going to sit there and make sure that she gets there and back home. Investigators say that the suspect may have owned additional properties, so the search for evidence will be here on Seymour Avenue, but it'll also be in other areas in Cleveland. I'm Tori Dunn in reporting.